There are so many different types of roof designs that you can choose from, and sometimes it's the hardest thing to do. I'm gonna give you some ideas now. Don't you go anywhere. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, and good night, depending on what time you're watching this next episode from me, Avamance, on my I Don't Know How to Finish Off the Top of My House series. Well, it's not actually a series, I just, well, yeah, I just made that up. I'm sorry. But what we're going to do today is we're going to look at roofs. We've done walls, and we've done exteriors, and we've done ways to improve your house. What we've not really looked at so much is a roof. And the roof actually is the make or break. You've got all kinds of different shapes and they sometimes look a little bit complicated. So I'm gonna try and make it a little bit more simple for you with this really short tutorial. Lots of different styles of roofs. We're gonna look at 12 options of roofs that you can do. And we're gonna look at them quite closely and we're gonna see how we can bring them together towards the end to make an amazing effect on your house. It should be relatively simple and it will work in both bedrock and in Java, so everybody should be happy. Let's crack on. Now, the first roof is one that people will be very familiar with. It is a 12-12 gable end, and it literally is going backwards and forwards with steps, kind of upside down, the right way around, upside down, the right way around, like this, an underpinned step there, and a row of just slabs across the top with a single strip of uh, trim, obviously, and classically an overhang as you would always have on a roof remember really important to keep an overhang on a roof otherwise it just looks appalling but this is a 12 12 so you can vary these up a little bit but they're quite useful if they're slightly shorter for things like uh, dormer windows and that type of stuff or little extra embellishments or if you're doing a very small house where a 12 12 is a very suitable roof and then you can change it up a little bit now i'm hoping that this is going to work Oh, it only went and did work. Right, brilliant. So the next one is again a 12-12, but it is a textured 12-12 gable. And all we've done is replace some of these steps with blocks, full uh, planks. And what that does is it breaks up those straight lines. You can see there, those straight lines, they're very, very uniform. When they're short, that doesn't matter. But when it's longer, it does matter. So if you're using this for the roof of a small house, for example, especially if it's a rustic house, you really wanna be looking at getting some of those textures in. So that's number two. Number three is an extension of that textured 1212 gable. And this is a textured 1212 gable with overhang and a black horse. And what we've got here is an overhang here where we've used different levels of slab just to increase it and it works especially well if it is two-sided and it comes up and kind of slopes again in that direction. These are really, really useful to use on things like uh, Viking, sm small Viking things. Uh, so if you're doing an, a Nordic village or something like that, an overhang like this would look beautiful on a Viking thing. Also, again, on churches where you've got some extra embellishment, these sorts of 12-12s work really, really well. Now, what you can do is change it up a little bit from the 12-12 and make yourself an extended one. Now, this is an extended textured gable end, and it's very, very similar. The only thing we've done that's different is rather than putting a step on top of the upside down step, we've put a block and then done two block, uh, two steps, block, two steps, etc. And we've pushed it outwards, coming forwards towards us using steps on two levels, which gives us this kind of overhang feel with this accentuated slope. And other than that, we've done exactly the same thing, but the look it gives you is significantly different. Now, if you're doing a larger Nordic village or something like that, this is the perfect size and shape for that. It also really works with or without the overhang, because you don't have to have the overhang, uh, on larger buildings as the primary roof. So that's what I'd recommend for an extended textured gable. The next one, is a more sharp look. Now this one is called, reading the sign, a sharp textured gable. As you can see, it's a sharp textured gable because if you look back, it goes much quicker up in the air and gets very, very thin towards the top. These are most commonly used on things like churches. You could use it on something like a, a spooky haunted house, lots of different applications. And the way you do it is you need to, you pin in quickly by using steps and then you do one block on top of that step and then you do two and then you do three, and then you make sure the middle bit is also bladed up completely, texturing it in exactly the same way. And there's lots, again, of different applications that you can use for that. That is the sharp textured gable. And then this one 
is a slightly different shape. This is a more bell shape. And as a result, it's called the bell gable. And the way we've achieved this is we've started the same way as we would with the extended gable with a block on top, a block on top, and then a block on top again three times. And then we've just done a 12-12 style gable across the top. And it gives you this bell shape. And this is really commonly used in things like barn builds or maybe country builds and things like that, or for little extensions off the side of a sharp roof. That works really rather well there again. So that is number six, the bell gable that is textured. Coming on to number seven, it's a very, very different roof. Now this fella is exclusively made up of slabs and it is a textured roof again, but it's more of an outhouse roof. We call it the low slope textured roof. And all we've done is slabbing. This works for any small outhouse buildings or sheds or anything that doesn't need a very high roof. Certainly it worked really well for animal pens and barns as well. That's a really good solution. It is dead, dead easy to make. So that is the low slope textured roof. Number eight is more of a lean to. And all this is really is half of a low slope textured roof, except we've extended it. So rather than going up one, as we have there, we've come in two. So we go up one and across two, up one, across two, up one, across two. And this works as the perfect lean to. Now, obviously in a build, these would be slightly higher. I've brought the roofs down closer to the ground so you can see them a little better. And when you couple it with a standard 12, 12 type gable in there, it actually works really well as a continued slope that comes down sharply and then slopes out really rather nicely. So that is the lean to textured roof. And next, we've got a slightly different roof. This one is a gazebo roof, and we've done this by using campfires. So we've given ourselves some posts, literally just stone, wall, a little bit more fence, and we've put a, a platform of campfires across the top, and then we've put them out using splash water bottles. It's got a really nice texture on the underneath, and it looks very much like you've got planks of wood going in two different directions. And it works beautifully, again, against a textured gable there as a, a gazebo on the side of a building. Or it could be standalone if you wanted to, maybe as a vegetable patch or something like that. So we've gone through nine quite quickly. And now with this one, what we're talking about is dormer sides. So this is a dormer sided textured roof. We've got an extended textured gable here and that's exactly the same as we had just a couple of blocks ago and we put on the side of it a 12 12 with a minimal overhang now what that does is that breaks up this long sided roof and gives a little point of interest on the side of the house and it it makes things and it gives a better view from the inside of the house certainly but it actually breaks up that and makes it far more realistic because those long blocks of brown actually are quite aggressive on the eye and you want to break it up with something a little more interesting. So that is our dormer sided textured roof. And the next one, this is completely different. So this is a circular tower roof. Now obviously circles in Minecraft leave a little bit to be desired, but it's a circular tower. And what we've done is we've just created this with slabs and the odd fence post. And all we've done is we've done a little bit of darker just to accentuate down the middle, but you don't have to do that. And if you look at this from a distance a little more, you can see it kind of tapers up and swoops up to a sharper point. You can make that even more sharp if you'd wish, just by adding on more blocks, literally just kind of build it up as you go and you'll, you'll find that you can make it even more tapered. Let me just get rid of those because that is not what I want on this particular roof. And this works really well for perhaps a watchtower or a church tower. You can make it slightly uh, sharper or you could do a hut and make it slightly less sharp. Lots of applications for this circular tower roof. It doesn't have to be a tower. It just needs to be something that's in a circle. This is a really simple circle with a five blocks, then in two, then in two and back to five. It's a really nice and easy roof that you can texture in a number of different ways. And number 12, if we come here, this is the four sided roof. So we've got a face, a gable face, on each of the four sides and we've also textured that up and all we've done there is we've used steps and underpinned the steps at the bottom and created basically a right angle that goes up and comes down again with a right angle and it does it three more times and this is a classic extended gable look so you can see here we've come in a little bit sharply first and then we've gone one 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 and one until we get to the top so 
it's it, it makes for an interesting shape you could certainly do this at the top of a tower on a house you could do it uh, for part of a lookout tower maybe not decorated in this way you could use it in a number of different ways and make it more interesting by sharpening up at the top should you wish to but lots of different applications and you can do them much smaller than this and also much larger as well and i just wanted to bring all of these together for you oh no <laughs> that didn't quite work oh well never mind we've now got kind of a an archway by bringing them together onto one single construction now you can see here we have used the lean-to roof the 12 12 gable the extended gable with overhang another extended gable with overhang but with a slightly sharper inlet it's almost the bell it's like a cross between the extended gable and the bell and also the four-sided tower we brought them all together oh and don't forget the gazebo roof there as well to give ourselves this entire look on the house and what you can see it gives a really interesting shape you've not got obvious kind of jutting out bits it's not just straight and angles it makes for perhaps a very rustic looking build depending on how you mix the roofs up and you've got lots of choices you don't even have to have it symmetrical those two sides there are relatively symmetrical but not at all this has got a flat end and this one has got an overhung end and it, i think it just works especially when you decorate it up nicely with just a little bit of bush and flower some interesting windows you get for really good looking rustic feeling build 12 of the very many roof designs that you can bring out into your worlds and combine together to make some really interesting builds there is a world download in the description below so you can come and have a closer snout around to these and just see what you think of them yourself and how you might want to adapt them if you've got world edit this is in 14.4 so you would absolutely be able to cut these into a schematic and use them should you wish to do so and you're more than welcome to i'd love to see some of your ideas for roofs whether they're based off of these ones or off of something completely different so feel free to tweet me at avo minecraft and i look forward to seeing them if you have enjoyed this video please remember to slap that like button it's great to know you're enjoying it and i will keep on making them. also if you've not done it already please do hit that subscribe button it'd be great to see you in my sub club and i look forward to seeing you in another video you take it easy now bye